worship him for the strength that you have released on the prayer altar. Let's say, Father, we thank you. We appreciate you for the answers to our prayers. We appreciate you for divine guidance. We thank you for the revelation. We thank you for the insight. I appreciate God giving praise and giving glory. Thank him intensely. Celebrate him and magnify him. Father, we thank you for the great light that we have received on this prayer altar. We give you praise. We give you glory. We magnify you, Lord. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your supernatural strength. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. Why not begin to express unto him your desires? Lord, I am before you again. I have come for the word of life. I have come for the word of truth. That same word that is able to build me tonight and give me my inheritance. Lord, release my way. A definite encounter that will help me to have dominion over all the affairs of life. Why not begin to pray? The word shall be coming your way like never before. Lord, I have come on today. Release your word my way. Let your power come upon me. That same word that will build me tonight and give me my inheritance. I am set, O oh Lord, even as I'm before the communion table. Let your grace be released upon me. Let your strength be released upon me. Let your power come like never before. Lift up your voice. I appreciate God and give him praise. Give him glory. For God is set again in our midst, in the midst of his people. Our God is mighty, is able to save, is able to deliver. Father, we are in before you. Let your power come. Let Sotoria Takapaliando, let Santana Manate, let Soproco Parada, give him thanks in the Holy Ghost, give him thanks in the Spirit, give him thanks in the understanding of what God has said again to do in our midst. Father, we thank you. Father, we give you praise. We magnify you. We celebrate your holy name and blessed be your holy name. In Jesus precious name we have prayed. You have a testimony in the house. The pastors will be waiting for you beside the choir. Stand to take your testimony. Join your hands together as we make welcome the priest team.
together for Jesus and be seated. Praise God, fortune is my portion in 2024. Shortly tonight, we shall be on our feet to pray, and this time we shall be saying, Father, let every contact made in our outreaches this year surrender to Christ and be compelled to settle down in this church for life. Let your amen be stronger. Zechariah chapter 9, verse 11 and 12, paraphrase, As for thee also, by the blood of thy covenant, I have sent forth thy prisoner out of the pit wherein is no water. Turn you to the stronghold, ye prisoners of hope. Shall we rise on our feet tonight and begin to pray this prayer? Say, Father, let every contact made in our outreaches this year surrender to Christ and be compelled to settle down in this church for life. In the name of Jesus. Lift your voice and pray that prayer with me tonight. Father, let every contact made in our outreaches this year, Lord, surrender to Christ and be compelled to settle down in this church for life. Is someone praying this prayer right now? Let everyone hear your voice. Pray a prayer that must be answered. Call unto him tonight from the depth of your heart. Call unto him in faith with passion tonight. Say, Father, let every contact made, O oh Lord, in our outreaches this year surrender to Christ and be compelled to settle down in this church for life. In the name of Jesus, Lord God Almighty, we pray that every contact made in our outreaches this year, Jesus, let all of them surrender to Christ and be settled, compelled to settle down in this church for life. In the name of Jesus Christ, let them take root downward here and bear fruit upward. In the name of Jesus, every contact made in all our outreaches this year, Jesus, we pray that in the name of Jesus, let all of them surrender to Christ in the name of Jesus, and be compelled to settle down here, in the name of Jesus, make here, O oh Lord, appointed place for them. I will appoint a place for my people Israel. He said they will dwell in the place of their own and move no more. Neither shall children of wickedness afflict them as before time. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray, in the name of Jesus Christ, every contact made, O oh Lord, in our outreaches this year, let all of them surrender to you, Jesus, O oh God of heaven. Let all of them surrender and be compelled to settle down in this church for life in the name of Jesus Christ. Let them see this church as a place of refuge and settle down here for life in the name of Jesus. Someone praying that prayer tonight, pray with faith. Pray with faith in your heart tonight. Pray, believing God tonight that whatsoever you declare, that's what heaven will do for us. Father, we pray, oh God, tonight, let every contact made in our outreaches, Lord, this year, surrender to Christ and be compelled to settle down in this church for life. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. He says, for thee also, by the blood of thy covenant, I have set forth the prisoner out of the pit wherein no water. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus, every contact made 
in our outreaches this year. Let all of them surrender, surrender to Christ and be compelled to settle down in this church for life in the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer right now. Pray that prayer. Heaven is hearing you. Heaven is hearing you tonight. Pray from the depth of your heart. Pray from the depth of your heart. Pray from the depth of your heart. Call on to him. He said, call, I will answer. He said, call, I will answer. He said, call, I will answer. Let's call on him tonight. Let's commit all our outreaches this year into his hand. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus. Let every contact made in our outreaches this year surrender to you, Jesus, and be compelled to settle down in this church for life. In the name of Jesus, none of them will return back to their vomit. None of them will return back to their vomit in the name of Jesus. Now, pray that prayer in the Holy Ghost. Pray that prayer in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Spirit right now. Father, we thank you. Bless the name of the Lord right now. Let's thank him. Let's thank him for answers to our prayer. Blessed be his name. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' wonderful name, we have prayed. Please celebrate Jesus tonight and be seated. Again, we shall rise to pray, saying, Father, continue to send us the reign of your word of grace all through this year that will engender access to the inheritance of every winner. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 20 and verse 32. And now, brethren, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up, to give you an inheritance among all them that are sanctified. In that scriptural light, let's be on our feet as we begin to pray. Saying, Father, continue to send us the reign of your word of grace all through this year that will engender access to the inheritance of every winner. Father, Continue to send us the reign of your word of grace all through this year that will agenda access to the inheritance of every winner. Father, continue to send us the reign of your word of grace all through this year that will engender access to the inheritance of every winner. Father, continue to send us the reign of your word of grace all through this year that will engender access to the inheritance of every winner. Father, in the name of Jesus, continue to send us the reign of your word of grace all through this year that will engender access to the inheritance of every winner. Father, in the name of Jesus, continue to send us the reign of your word of grace all through this year that will engender access to the inheritance of every winner. Father, in the name of Jesus, continue to send us the reign of your word of grace all through this year that will agenda access to the inheritance of every winner. Father, in the name of Jesus, continue to send us the reign of your word of grace all through this year that will agenda access to the inheritance of every winner. Father, in the name of Jesus, continue to send us the reign of your word of grace all through this year that will agenda access to the inheritance of every winner. Father, in the name of Jesus, continue to send us the reign of your word of grace all through this year that will agenda access to the inheritance of every winner. Father, in the name of Jesus, continue to send us the reign of your word of grace all through this year that will engender access to the inheritance of every winner. Father, in the name of Jesus, continue to send us the reign of your word of grace all through this year that will engender access to the inheritance of every winner. Father, in the name of of Jesus that is above every other name. Continue to send us the reign of your word of grace all through this year that will engender access to the inheritance of every winner. Lift up your voices. Pray some more in your understanding 
and in the Holy Ghost, uh, saying, Father, continue to send us the rain of your word of grace uh, all through this year that will engender us uh, to the inheritance of every winner. Lift up your voices. Give him thanks with the same intensity. Appreciate him from the depths of your heart. Father, we give you thanks. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Put your hands together for his glory as you get seated. Next, we'll be praying this prayer lines. Saying, Father, let the refining fire of the Holy Ghost burn off every chaff of sin in the life of every winner, thereby making our service acceptable to God. Malachi chapter 3 at verse 2 paraphrased, And who shall stand when he appeareth? For he is like a refiner's fire. Let's rise with me tonight. As we lift up our voices, we are praying for ourselves. Father, in the name of Jesus, let the refining fire of the Holy Ghost burn off every chaff of sin in the life of every winner, thereby making our service acceptable to God. Make sure your voice is heard on high tonight. Pray this prayer passionately and pray believing. Father, let the refining fire of the Holy Ghost burn off every chaff of sin in the life of every winner thereby making our service acceptable to God. Our Father, tonight we bring ourselves before the altar of the Holy Ghost, that he will burn off every chaff of sin in our lives, every winner, young and old, male and female, old members, new members, thereby making our service acceptable to God. Our Father, tonight, let the refining fire of the Holy Ghost burn off every chaff of sin in the life of every winner, thereby making our service acceptable to God. Father, by the refining fire of the Holy Ghost, sanctify every winner. Father, sanctify, purify every winner. In the name of Jesus Purge us from every chaff of sin in the life of every winner, thereby making our service acceptable to God. Our Father, tonight, we bring ourselves before the holy altar, Holy Ghost, burn off every chaff of sin in the life of every winner, in our thoughts, in our words, in our actions. Let every chaff be burnt off refine our words, refine our thoughts, refine our action. Holy Ghost, let the refine and fire of the Holy Ghost burn off every chaff of sin from head to toe in the life of every winner, thereby making our service acceptable to God. Our Father, we want to stand when you appear. Cause us to stand before you. We bring ourselves to you tonight, willingly, that you burn off every chaff of sin in the life of every winner, thereby making our service acceptable to God. In the name of Jesus, our Father tonight, burn off by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the refining fire of the Holy Ghost, sanctify every winner's life as you burn off every chaff of sin in the life of every winner, thereby making our service acceptable to God. Is somebody praying tonight? This is a personal prayer. My Father, my God, let the refining fire of the Holy Ghost 
burn off every chaff of sin in the life of every winner. Old members, new members, young and old, male and female, thereby making our service acceptable to God. Our Father tonight will declare and desire that you purge us by the refining fire of the Holy Ghost. You purify us by the refining fire of the Holy Ghost. Burn off every chaff of sin in the life of every winner, in our thoughts, in our words, in our action, thereby making us or making our service acceptable to God. In the name of of Jesus, ele teke patakata, ezo peke talianda, ila moshanda, ira pakata laga dosi, ibato le katala, rapa pa dekete, elo shanda, alantoleba, a father, let the refining fire of the Holy Ghost burn off every chaff of sin in the life of every winner, thereby making our service acceptable to God in antane kanana in akano meketana na to meketalana ilamo shanda father we thank you lift up your hands to heaven god has heard us in jesus holy name we are prayed hands together for jesus and please be seated In this midweek communion service, it's time for faith tabernacle announcements. Please listen attentively. Number one, praise the Lord. Our 2024 21 days of prayer and fasting is an instant day. Hallelujah. It continues until Sunday, the 28th of January, 2024. Know that our evening prayer and communion services for the week continues tomorrow, Thursday to Friday, both here in Canaan land and at all our zonal centers across Lagos and Ota, time is 6 p.m. Please be reminded that pregnant women, nursing mothers, the aged amongst our senior citizens, and those with health challenges are advised not to overstretch themselves in the ongoing fasting, but they can attend the congregational prayer sessions. Number two, covenant hour prayer continues tomorrow, Thursday to Saturday, Remember, this holds in over 600 locations across Lagos and Ota. Time is 5.30 to 6.30 a.m. Number three, praise the Lord. Be reminded to share your testimonies of the mighty acts of God at testimonies at davidoedeku.com and testimonies at lfcww.org. Both addresses are shown on the screen. Number four, praise the Lord. All our intercessory prayer guidelines, such as personal spiritual awakening, supernatural church growth, church membership, new converts retention, towards fruitful outreaches, release of life-transforming word, vengeance towards continuous church growth, and all other such, are to be used during this prayer and fasting season. They are also available on the church website for download. Number five. When our satellite fellowship, our house to house fellowship, holds this coming Saturday at all our WSF centers across Lagos and Ota. Remember, we shall be praying for one another. Invite a neighbor to partake in this fellowship time. Don't miss this for anything. Time is 5 to 6 p.m. Finally, number six, praise the Lord. Next Sunday at Faith Tabernacle shall be a prophetic service. <laughs> Hallelujah. It shall be a service to be much remembered. Come expecting definite encounters with the word. Come along with your family members, your friends, and other loved ones. Be sure not to miss this. There shall be three services, times 6 a.m., 7.55, and 9.50 a.m. Our S.Y. regular fourth service shall be a special healing miracle service, time 11.45 a.m. <laughs> Jesus is Lord. Please put your hands together and magnify Jesus for these glad tidings. It's testimony time. Please let Pastor Noatin Serge come forward for his testimony. Please, while he comes forward, let's listen to the following documented testimony. Life made easy after consecration. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I want to thank God for his mercy and favor in the course of this prayer and fasting period. Last year, 2023, I ventured into a business 
with money that I had access to without informing those that were concerned. And when the business failed, I resorted in taking loans to resuscitate the business in order to get the initial funds back, but the business failed again. I kept all this to myself with condemnation, not knowing how to go about this situation. But during the first week of this fasting and prayers, after hearing the word on sanctification, I chose to be on the Lord's side. And I also took a step to confess all the financial mismanagement to all the parties involved. To the glory of God, not only was I forgiven, God granted me favor as they also chose to settle the loans I collected and offered me better business opportunities. <laughs> Hallelujah. To God be all the glory. The testifier, Ido wrote to me. Let's give God praise for this wonderful testimony. Your name, what the Lord has done for you in one minute. Je suis le pasteur Serge Noatin depuis Cotonou, revue du Bénin. Mon, test, mon témoin est ceci. Ma fille est née normalement. My name is Pastor Nuati Serge. Je viens de la revue du Bénin. I came from Republic of Benin. Mon enfant est né normalement, mais après une erreur médicale. My daughter was born normally, but with a medical condition. Il a de, elle a développé une paralysie cérébrale. It, she developed a neuro, neurological disorder. Et un désordre neurologique et un retard psychomoteur. Which the doctor described as cerebral um, palsy and motosological delay. À trois ans, elle était toujours couchée. At three years, she always lie down. Elle ne peut pas s'asseoir. She cannot sit down. Même pour, elle a perdu le réflexe de la déglutition. She cannot do anything normally. Elle a perdu le réflexe de la déglutition et de la succion. And then she can't even swallow. Il faut, pour lui faire manger, il faut lui mettre dans un syringe. To eat, they have to feed her through syringe. J'étais abattu. That he was very, very confused. Courant juillet et août 2019. And then towards the month of um, 2019, August 2019. J'ai vu papa dans ma vision. He saw papa in his dream. Et papa m'a dit, viens avec l'enfant. And papa told him to come to Kenya land with the child. Le dimanche prochain, c'est le culte de brisement des malédictions générationnelles. And the next Sunday is supposed to be breaking generational causes. Je ne... À cause du trafic et de la condition de l'enfant, je ne pouvais pas venir avec l'enfant. Because of the traffic and the condition of the child, he couldn't come with the child. Je suis venu avec la photo de l'enfant. So he came with the photograph of the child. Effectivement, c'est le culte de brisement des malédictions. And truly, it was really a breaking generational cause for à him. À la fin de, du dernier culte. He said after the end of the last service. Yep. J'ai introduit la photo à papa. He said he met papa with the photograph. Papa touché la photo. Papa touched the photograph. Il dit, Elle va parler, elle va marcher. That she is not going to die and that she's going to walk. Elle va marcher, elle va parler. And that she's going to walk, she's going to talk. Quand je suis retourné. And that when he returned. Immédiatement. Immediately. L'enfant commençait par se lever. The child started standing up. C'est le début et c'est le début de sa restauration jusqu'à aujourd'hui. He said that is the beginning of her restoration immediately. Le docteur qui, l'un des docteurs qui l'avait soigné. That one of the doctors that had actually taken care of the quand a, situation. Quand il a vu la photo de l'enfant, when he saw the child of the baby, il a, il a dit que c'est impossible en 26 ans de service, il n'a jamais vu un cas comme ça revenir la vie jusqu'à cette étape là. That it is impossible for all his years of service that this child cannot walk and this child cannot do anything by, by herself. Je suis venu rendre gloire à Dieu. But I have come here today to return glory to God. Avec l'enfant. With the child. Pour dire merci à Dieu. And to say thank you merci Jesus. Dieu. Thank you. Hallelujah. Let's give God praise. Can we celebrate the Almighty God for these amazing testimonies? Put those hands together the loudest you can. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Shortly we'll be rising up as we pray in this manner. Father, open the eyes of understanding of all our new converts to the truth so they can be established in the faith and in this church for life. A louder amen. 
John 6, 68. Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the word of eternal life. Please let's rise. Together let's pray. Father, open the eyes of understanding of all our new converts to the truth so they can be established in the faith and in this church for life. Lift up your voice to the Lord tonight and let's pray with the whole of our heart. Let's engage with all of our heart tonight. Jesus, open the eyes of understanding of all our new converts to the truth so they can be established in the faith and in this church for life. Lift up your voice. Pray with the whole of your heart. Let the Lord hear your voice tonight. Father, Lord God of heaven, we pray. Open the eyes of understanding of all our new converts to the truth so they can be established in the faith and in this church for life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, cause the eyes of understanding of all our new converts to be open to the truth so they can be established in the faith and in this church for life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we ask of you tonight in the name of Jesus that you open the eyes of understanding of all our new converts to the truth so they can be established in the faith and in this church for life. In the name of Jesus Christ, make sure the Lord is hearing your voice tonight. Make sure your voice is being registered in heaven right now. Pray with the whole of your heart. Engage with all fervency. Pray this night. Pray. Let the Lord hear your voice. Let the Lord hear your voice. and Engage with the name of Jesus. Father, open the eyes of understanding of all our new compass to the truth so they can be established in the faith and in this church for life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, cause the eyes of understanding of all our new converts to be open to the truth, so they can be established in the faith and in this church for life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, establish all our new converts, both in the faith and in this church for life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, plant them solidly in this church and in the faith. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, establish them all. Establish all our new converts. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, almighty God, open the eyes of understanding of all our new converts to the truth so they can be established both in the faith and in this church for life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, a low praise, a low prakatalo, ze luamba yagapo toto lupum potatale. Father, Lord, we give you thanks. Lift up your hands to him. Give him thanks. Give him praise. Glorify his holy name. Is a prayer hands to God. Father, we give you praise. In Jesus' great name, we have prayed. Please put your hands together for Jesus and be seated. Next one, rise. We'll be saying, Father, stretch forth your hand for the speedy delivery of the Fortune 2024 prophetic agenda in this commission this year. 1 Kings chapter 8 and verse 15. And he said, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. We speak with his mouth unto David, my father, and as with his hand fulfilled it. Please let's rise together as we pray, saying, Father, stretch forth your hand for the speedy delivery of the Fortune 2024 prophetic agenda in this commission this year. Lift up your voice. Uh, let's cry out tonight, uh, our Father and our God, uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, stretch forth your hand. Stretch forth your hand uh, for the speedy delivery of the prophetic agenda. Fortune 2024 prophetic agenda in this commission this year. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, lift up your voice, everyone, tonight. As we cry out for the speedy delivery, the mouth of the Lord has declared it via his servant. His hand is bringing it to pass. Our Father, stretch forth your hand. Supernaturally, stretch forth your hand for the speedy delivery of the prophetic agenda of the year for 2024. Your mouth has declared it. Let your hand establish it. Lift up your voice. Saints of God tonight, we are crying out to our prayer answering God. 
to stretch forth his hand uh, supernaturally as he begins to bring to pass uh, the prophetic agenda for the year 2024. Fortune 2024 has been declared, uh, Lord, uh, by your mighty hand, uh, bring it to pass. Uh, bring it to pass uh, in our lives as individuals, uh, as a commission as well. Uh, let your mighty hand uh, establish your counsel uh, for us this year. Lift up your voice, uh, everyone tonight, uh, and show you are praying, uh, you are crying out, uh, you are making this demand tonight uh, on the prayer altar. Our Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, stretch forth your hand supernaturally. Stretch forth your hand for the speedy delivery of the Fortune 2024 prophetic agenda in this commission this year. Someone lift up your voice. Cry out some more tonight. And show you are crying out with faith. Uh, you are making this demand uh, on the prayer altar. The mouth of the Lord has declared uh, his hand is bringing it to pass. Uh, the mouth of the Lord has declared it. It has been established in our lives. Uh, our Father, we are asking tonight uh, that you stretch forth your hand. Uh, stretch forth your hand uh, supernaturally for the speedy delivery of the fortune 2024 prophetic agenda in this commission this year in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the field not ought of all the things with the mouth of the Lord has declared all came to pass our father let the prophetic agenda fortune 2024 find full delivery in the lives of us as individuals and as a commission, as you stretch forth your hand for the speedy delivery, as you stretch forth your hand, bring it to pass the prophetic agenda for the year fortune 2024. Someone lift up your voice. You are praying some more tonight. You are engaging with passion and with faith. Now let's appreciate him. He has heard us tonight and he has answered our Father, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Big hand for the Lord and be seated. In a moment, we are going to rise to pray, saying, Father, make the ongoing prayer and fasting a mountain of transfiguration indeed in the lives of all participants, thereby taking us from glory to glory. Amen. Say loud, amen. amen. Second Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 18. But we all with open face beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord. We are changing to the same image from glory to glory. Shall we rise on our feet tonight and let's lift our voices as we pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, make the ongoing prayer and fasting a mountain of transfiguration indeed. In the lives of all participants, thereby taking us from glory to glory. In the name of Jesus, let it be a mountain of transfiguration. Let every one participant be changed supernaturally, just like you change that individual from defilement to sanctification. Let it be the experience of every one participant. Supernatural transfiguration. As a result of this ongoing prayer and fasting, let every participant be changed from one level to the other from one state to the other, from one dimension to the other. Let not one individual remain at the same level. In the name of Jesus, make this prayer and fasting season a mountain of transfiguration. Indeed, for every participant, not one person is permitted to remain at the same level. Lord, from one dimension of glory to the other, let it be the experience of every participant in this ongoing prayer and fasting season. Lift your voice and pray from the depth of your heart. The word of God said concerning Jesus that as he prayed, he was transfigured. In this season, as we are praying and fasting, Lord, our heart desire is that we are changing from one level to the other, from one dimension to the other, from one state to the other. In the name of Jesus, lift your voice and pray passionately from the depth of your heart. Let God hear the voice of your intercession. My Father and my God, make the ongoing prayer and fasting season a mountain of transfiguration. 
for every participant in the name of Jesus. Let every department of our lives be changed in this season, be transformed in this season, be transfigured in this season. In the name of Jesus Christ, lift your voice and make sure you are praying passionately from the depth of your heart. Let God hear the voice of of your intercession. Remember this prayer is also for yourself. My Father and my God, in the name of Jesus, let this ongoing prayer and fasting be a mountain of transfiguration. Indeed, for every participant, not one person is permitted to remain at the same level. We shall all be changed upon this mountain in the name of Jesus. This is our heart desire. Pray from the depth of your heart. Pray with faith in your heart. Pray with confidence in your God. You are pouring out your heart unto the Lord right now. Ask Him for transfigurative experiences for every single worshiper, every participant in this ongoing prayer and fasting. In the name of Jesus, not one person is permitted to remain at the same level. Everyone must be changed. This is our heart desire. Every participant, change supernaturally in the name of Jesus and get the language of the Holy Ghost. Pereketo sakalade enklakoshi krediata aleko patane parabangale kariatala esefreketo kabia apora patelo keno ishamanate kelo kapa alakata kalo kerugana savradi keton kiaba alaprakoshi kelusa let this ongoing prayer and fasting, O oh Lord, be a mountain of transfiguration. Indeed, for every participant, taking each one from glory to glory, from level to level, from dimension to dimension, in the name of Jesus, lift your hand, appreciate and celebrate God. Father, thank you for it. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Give Jesus a big hand. Please be seated. In a moment, we shall be going before the Lord in personal supplication. Where we shall be presenting before the Lord our spiritual breakthrough needs and all the need that we may have tonight. Psalms 57, verses 2 and 3, abridged. He said, I will cry unto God, most I, unto God that performeth all things for me, and he shall send from heaven and save me. Tonight, as you cry a cry of faith, God shall send answers from heaven for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please rise to your feet or take any position convenient to maximize your focus in prayer and cry unto God. And according to his word, he will hear you. Remember to make your spiritual needs a priority tonight and then all the needs that you may have.
Someone is praying. Let God hear your voice tonight. As you cry, God is performing. Let him hear your cry of faith. Shall we rise to our feet and let's begin to perfect our prayer in the language of the Spirit, giving thanks unto the Lord. He has said it. We will cry. It will perform. And we have cried. Now he has performed. With this confidence, lift your voice and give him thanks. Father, I thank you. Because I know you have done it. Maleko paras kataya. Leke parin tambro tengende dose ko pakleko katari kataloza. Rate pereke sa kuleria. E kako topani zabra. O kalese ken taraparu se prekedia. E te paru sambele. Em peleto prako sakia do barabadaba. Oh, thank you, Heavenly Father. I thank you because you have had me. And I thank you because you have done it. Wave your hands. Blessed be your name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. It is done. Shall we give Jesus a big hand of praise and be seated? Good news. I'm glad to announce to somebody tonight that every form of financial misfortune comes to an end in your life. Yeah. Therefore, tonight in this service, it's offering time. So shall it be for us all in Jesus' name. Yeah. Please properly package right now the worship seat for this service and make sure they are clearly labeled. Remember, you can give in cash, put in an envelope, and properly and clearly labeled. You can also give by writing check in favor of Faith Tabernacle Canaan Land. You can also take advantage of any of our electronic giving channels. Please check the screen for all the information you require concerning that. Praise God. As you put your seat together tonight, we read from Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 8. The scripture says, the Lord shall command the blessing upon thee in thy storehouses and in all that thou settest thine hand unto. And he shall bless thee in the land with the Lord thy God giveth thee. Say it me, I receive it. May this be our portion tonight as we give in Jesus' name. Would you please rise upon your feet and take your seed in your hand, lift it up unto God as you worship him and present your seed unto him, glorify his name, worship his majesty, thank him, because these blessings become your portion and my portion tonight. Father, we thank you, and we worship you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Please keep your seat lifted. Father, in the name of Jesus, we are here tonight with seed and our hands financially to worship you. Thank you for accepting our seed. And according to your word, we receive your blessing in our storehouses. We receive your blessing in all that we set our hands upon to do. And we thank you for terminating every form of financial misfortune. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. A loud and believing amen. amen. Please take your seat comfortably, cast your seat with joy, and the praise team will lead us.
give the Lord a big hand of praise, everyone. Shall we lift up our two hands to heaven and give God thanks for seeing the things we see and for hearing the things we hear? Give him thanks. Give him also thanks for answer to your prayers since this annual prayer and fasting began. Would you thank him? Give him thanks for light in his world that's coming your way, in your private search, in the services. Give him thanks. Give him thanks. Give him thanks. Give him thanks. Thank you, Jesus. Ask him to speak to you tonight, everyone. Jesus, speak to me tonight. I want to hear from you, Jesus. A fasting season, an outbreak of revelation, an outbreak of light, is part of the benefits. Lord, let your light breathe into my heart tonight and move me forward in my walk with you. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. To the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, it's because there's no light in them. So testimonies enlighten just as the word does. Testimonies are validations of the word. When you receive testimonies of the Lord on any subject, it's still as faith. It's still as faith. The testimony of Wigglesworth still faith in me that imparted me with a far above mentality over all devils. 1979. Can't recover from it for life. I can't recover from it for life. How he despised the devil and triumphed. Take it how you hear. God is speaking. Through diverse means, through the songs of the choir, through the praise worship time. Take it how you hear. I repented of my sins. Even though I never told them I was investing their money in some business, yet they forgave me. When I returned, I was restored. It's time to return. It's time to return back on course. God does not bless crookedness. God does not bless the crooked. Say to the righteous, I shall be well with him. It's never late. To be right. It's never late to be right. A U turn is wisdom when you're on the wrong road. No matter how long you have gone on that wrong road, you don't return. You don't make a turn. You never get to where you are going. The Lord spoke to me and is manifesting that now with all the time we are hearing on a spiritual repositioning of the church. The church is not a building, it's a people. We all need a spiritual repositioning to possess our possessions. We need a spiritual repositioning. But you have to receive the engrafted word of God with meekness. meekness. How can I say I'm right? How can I say I'm wrong? You are wrong. When you are wrong, you are wrong. Amiko Trenoya, a Lankra Potapo, without a spiritual transformation in this season, you didn't come. You are not part of it. It's a time of spiritual renewal, spiritual rejuvenation. It's time to reposition. It's time to reposition. It's time to reposition. It's time to go forward. It's time to take steps forward. That my Yao Yao song uh, repented. 
and God decorated his life, gave him a business idea that brings in, you know, in dollars. Repositioning to possessing your possession. Right? You don't change your language. You can't see the way forward. You don't think, change the way you think, nothing will change. I was chatting with my people today in the editorial team and I said, mind your mind. Mind your mind. It has destroyed many lives. Mind your mind. I don't care how my mind, your mind is not safe. It's not anchored on God. Mind your mind. Guard the loss of your mind. Stop dispersing the word in your heart. I don't, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. You know, your papa can go to an extreme. I don't believe that. I didn't write the Bible. I didn't write the Bible. May the meekness required to allow the word of God to settle you. You need to be settled. You, you, you have been struggling. You need to be settled. He has settled many people. He must settle you too. Yeah. He wants to settle you too. Yeah. And for those who are settled, he wants to settle you to another level, another level of settlement. Where you move and evil departs, evil moves. You move and evil moves away. He wants to change your own level, my own level, to next level. Thank you, Jesus. Lord Jesus, over to you. No one can change himself, only you can change people. What you don't show us, we cannot see. It is the Lord who has shown us light. Lord, show me the light that will move me forward. Show me the light. Before this fasting is over, show me the light. Now keep me on a forward movement life for life. Show me the light. Show me the light. I know you don't bless the obedience. You don't bless the obedience. You don't bless disobedience. And ignorance is no excuse. Ignorance is no excuse. So help me, Jesus. Show me the light that will keep moving me forward in my walk with you and in my journey in life. Show me the light before this season is over. Show me the light. Fasting is a season of outbreak of light. Show me the light that will keep my life on ever forward motion. Ever forward motion. Show me the light that will give me speed, speed, speed in my life. Give me, show me the light, Jesus. Show me the light. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' precious name. Give the Lord a big hand and get seated, please. Those charges where you stand, they are marching orders like in the military. You don't sit down to get, take orders. You stand to take orders. Mind those clips. They are meant for your good. Mind those clips. Can I tell you this? Before the God of heaven, anyone who chooses to turn from everything that displeases God, we enter into fortune. Everyone who cares to turn from everything you know displeases God, you enter into fortune. Amen. Favor is the lot of the righteous. Thou, O Lord, will bless the righteous. With favor, without surround him about as with a shield. Favor is not the lot of the crooked. Favor is not the lot of the hypocrite. Psalm 5 and verse 12. Ameko trenia, le panklang klen krok teneu predia. We said it here before that the sun or the moon has no light of its own. It simply aligns to the sun at a particular angle. And so what you see, we call the moonlight, is a reflection of the light from the sun. The sun generates all the heat that releases the light. The moon is so cold and chilly, but reflects the glory of the sun by simple, correct alignment. When we align with God, we don't struggle again. We don't generate temperature anymore. He leads the way. And all these ways are ways of pleasantness. On all our parts are peace. 
You may get material possession through career means, but it will always come along with sorrow. 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 Harrowing kind of life. But his blessings make it rich, and it has no sorrow. The, the word fortune, the fortune prophetic package for the year demands that we return to God. Demands that we turn away from evil. Demands that we turn away from pride. And let God be God. Mind your mind is always at war with your spirit. Your mind is always at war with your spirit. No, I can't take that. No, no, no. I know what I'm doing. Leave me alone. Can't do that. Go and win souls. No, 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 no. At my level. You know, souls. How can I? You know, what will I say? To who? No, I, I call my staff and say, you need Jesus. No. The world has changed. Anything that moves you against the world is the loss of your mind, your position, your status, your level. I don't know what level you are in. But will your level ever compare with God? Satan thought one time, I'll be like God. I think God is already is, is monopolizing everything. I want to compete with him. Angels of God, are you hearing me? I'm planning a coup. How many want to support me? One third. One third of the angels. Now it's time to blow it. When you hear me blow the trumpet, move. Let's remove God. Let's remove God. He that sitting in heaven shall allow. He said, okay, Satan, I remove you. And your angels down to the pit. I used that to cast out the devil one time. The angels, which left their forces, they did not keep their forces, but they are kept in prison. So Satan is imprisoned. When you see him outside, he jumped jail. You send him back there. He said, and the angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, as he resulted in everlasting change unto darkness until the day. So I told that madman, pointing my finger, the angels, they are kept not their forces. What are you doing here? All the devils left. These are realities. Don't argue with the truth. You can't win it. You can't win a debate. <laughs> no. God is not in your class, not in my class. It's God whether you are there or there, whether I'm there and I'm not there. It's God forever. You know, the good news, for everyone who cares to return, you'll be gloriously restored. Yeah. You care to return, you'll be gloriously restored. If you choose to return, sir, you will be gloriously restored. Yeah. If you choose to return, he said, all those nonsense money that you borrow people, it's not your money, it's bad money. Let them go. Don't ask them again, no. That house will be with that dirty money. Throw it away. And he obeyed. He obeyed. He obeyed. Now that he sat down, oh God, thank you. I know it's an idea. I'll think about it someday. Engaging the wonders of specific demands on our prayer altar. So let's get back on the syllabus. We saw Esther prayed, Ezra, sorry, demanding divine direction by proclaiming a fast. 
Because among the returns of fasting and prayer is the Lord shall guide thee continually. We secure divine guidance on the altar of prayer and fasting. And by so doing, satisfy thy soul in trust. When God guides, he guides into the realm of flourishing. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He leaves me beside the still water. He restores my soul. He makes me to lie down on a fragrant pasture. My God. So when God leads, he leads the way to flourishing, not languishing. Amen. And may father thy bones, and that shall be like a watered garden, and like a spring of water, whose waters fade not. If you let God lead you continually, you won't feel the heat in the environment. And they tasted not when he led them, sir. Isaiah 48 and verse 21. He brought forth water for them from the rock. He cleaved the rocks also, and the waters gushed out. Not lead you for some time, lead you continually. Lead you continually. Many have followed their path to frustration, some to destruction. But it's a way that seems right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Proverbs 14, 12, and Proverbs 16, 25. Verbatim. Repeated verbatim. There's a way that seems right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. If you will let God guide you continually, continually, it will satisfy your soul in drought. It will make fat thy bones. You'll be like a watered garden. And like springs of water, whose waters fade not. I want to thank God because I know that I know, I know that I know, and my knowing knows that I know that I'm in the center of God's will. It's time to come on course, sir. Not just carry your way, I'm going somewhere. Let God lead you. Or you find your way from the garden to the wilderness of want, of lack, of stress, of strain. Let God lead you. His ways are higher than our ways and his thoughts than our thoughts. Let God lead you. Permissive will, you get saved as passing through the fire. You don't have to pass through fire when there's a way out. <laughs> and there are three kinds of will, permissive will. You better get the correct will of God and live your life to strange order of fulfillment. Don't you get out of this country until I tell you to. I have never been any more blessed in my life oh, than I so surrender to that instruction. I've not seen the border of any nation since he told me, five years plus. You better let God lead you. You better let God lead you. When God leads, he goes before the lead. When I leave my sheep out, I go before them. And can any gate stop God from going forward? When God leads you, no barrier can stop your way, sir. John 10, 4 and 5. It goes with the lead. He sent them two by two to go before him into every place where himself will come. Luke 10, verse 2. He goes with the Lord. Go to all the world, he said, and the Lord was walking with them. So he walks with the Lord. So he's not walking alone. You won't suffer in life. Amen. Allow God to... Divine direction will never... Be outdated. It's a lifelong requirement. Let God lead you. 
One wrong step can wreck a whole destiny. Let God lead you. Young people, are you hearing me? Let God lead you. Let God lead you. I was 23 when the Lord told me, my son, your future is in my plan, not in your plan. Oh, what a settlement that was for me. Jeremiah 29, verse 11, Revised Standard Version. If you can put that on the screen, please. Now, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Plan for welfare. Welfare means well-being. And not for evil. To give you a future and a hope. Somebody in Nigeria got business in dollars. Earning in dollars and paying tight in dollars. And then you are running around the world looking for dollars. Allow God to lead you before you lead yourself into destruction. You join bad gang. A man, you are going to marry a man. Because you are where they married him. Where they married him. A woman, you are going to marry a woman. So you call your parent, hello, just got married. He said, ah, what happened? Yes, the Lord just gave me a fine lady as my husband. Eh? He <laughs> won't You went there. Allow God to lead you. People from around the world are junketing for the work in Canaan land. Big time companies are lining up to get a job here. And you think they pay them in Naira? Let God lead you. You have only one life to live. Don't waste it. Don't waste it. Oh. Because many of you have no reverse gear. Even when you get there, you discover you are wrong. You can't come back. Because you have lost your reverse gear. He was in Kumasigana and had no imprint, no imprint for six years. And I said, Lord, what's that going on here? He said, I'm not there. Ah, huh? So what are you doing there? It was an all Peter's, all Peter, the same anointing, but the wrong place. So I called them, return, my friend. God just told me that he's not there. Many don't have that kind of device here. We shot that straight. What is nonsense? So my hearing me now, they are dying. They are dying where they are. They are dying. Kill <laughs> show. Can't you repent and return and find your place in God? Maybe you are in Ghana, you're supposed to be in Cameroon. Locate where you belong. And say to him, you can't make anything work where God is not. Okay? But without me, you can do what? Nothing. The word is enough for the wise. That covers both young and old. Though. Covers both young and old. There was an elderly person that was trying to travel and I cancelled him. What for? Before I knew what was happening, it was at the airport. <laughs> what can I do? I don't know where he is now. David was embattled. He sought direction for victory. For Samuel chapter 30, verse 6 to 9. It was a miscalculation in warfare strategy. They all left town to go to the war front. The enemy knew they had left and invaded and spoiled the town, carried away all their treasures, including their children, their wives. And they thought of stoning David for that miscalculation. The people wept until they had no more energy to weep. You know, there's a way you weep. When you tell people to stop weeping, don't waste your time. After some time, we we'll stop. The girl will start coming down. And down from gear one to two, two to three, three to four, four to six. They say, can I have water to drink? <laughs> <laughs> but you won't weep anymore. Yeah. Nobody here will shed tears this year. Everyone under this apostolic canopy, no one is permitted to mourn this year. Yeah. 
But David encouraged himself in the Lord. You know, I didn't make this mistake intentionally. Shall I pursue them? So we shall overtake and without fail recover all. First Samuel chapter 30, verse 6 to 9. And then verse 17 to 18. And David recovered all. He sought direction. And God gave instruction. And David obeyed it. You are going to receive instructions here. Amen. Before this season is over, definite instructions that will secure anything lost will come your way. The Philistines came and set the battle in array against Israel. Second Samuel chapter 5, verse 18 to 21. And David inquired of the Lord, Shall I go up? Who deliver them to my hand? Now, he was a man of war. He slew Goliath. Sir. He shouldn't even ask. You better ask God. Yesterday's approach may not work today. Oh. You better ask God. Ask God. No, say, Go up. I will surely deliver them into your hand. Second Samuel 5 18 to 21. And then the Philistines came again. And God said, no, don't go up. Set the compass about them. Until you hear the sound of movement on the mulberry tree. And then be still yourself. For then you have taken over. Are you challenging any area? Lord, what is the way out? What is the way out of this predicament? Jesus, show me the way out. You were besieged by the gates of hell. Our church was crawling, and I mean crawling, and I mean crawling. And I said, Jesus, this can't continue. Why is this church not growing? Why is my business crawling for businessmen? Why am I grounded in my career? Is there something wrong going on inside me that nobody knows except you? When it shows the way you go, to go, and you go that way, you are sure to come back with testimonies. It shows the way to go, and you choose to go that way. You choose to go that way. You choose to go that way. It can't force you and me to go the way it shows. He shows us and leaves us, hey, if you're interested, that's the way to go. You want the church to grow? This is what to do. Mm. You see, God, that number one is okay, but number two and number three, in this environment, in case you're not aware, I'm trying to inform you. You know you live in heaven, we live here. This number two and three won't work here. He said, thank you for your enlightenment and for educating me. Now we're done. The church won't grow. You'll be groaning. God is no respect of persons. What he shows you is one. What to do with this is another. It is what to do with what he shows you that makes you a show. What to do with what he shows you is what makes you a show to your world. <laughs> what you do with what he shows, not just with what he shows. He showed us amazing things here. Oh. These last 10 days, amazing things. I'm privileged to be your pastor, your teacher. And I know what you have shown me, some of which have pushed to you. Amazing things. But it is what we do, what it shows us, that makes things work. So he showed me four keys to unending church growth. And we are in it. Now, he showed me that 40 years ago, this match, this match makes it 40 years ago. Amito Tony Shegala Tomaga, one of our pastors today, was one of the first six members of the church in Kaduna. He testified the other time. There's no joke. We are not cracking jokes. Everybody that was there at that time, most of them are still here. What he shows you is important. What you do it with it is much more important. What he shows you and me is important, but what we do with it is much more important. Has God not shown everybody here the mystery of Titan? <laughs> you think everybody's Titan? Waste your time. No, some of our never told. 
Some of all, he said, God himself knows I can't tithe. Ask God. Tell Papa to ask God. He will tell you that I know he won't tithe. They say, why? He has too many problems. <laughs> no, no, no. What he shows. You don't return, you cannot be restored. God even know I can't return. I've gone far on this journey, I can't return. I've been living on, uh, you know, fraudulent art for the past 20 years. And I said, where will I return to? God, take it easy. That area, don't touch it. You can touch any other area, but this business I'm doing is the only business I know. I've developed capacity. I've even trained people. I can't say I'm not doing it again. To see one account and change it and uh, look for somebody's account and plug in and then uh, ask for their balance and defraud the, the, the account and come. Is that what I do? I, I'm an expert. God said, return. You are playing with fire. Return. Oh. Return. Oh. Uh, air fire is not electronic fire. Oh. <laughs> Street fire. We've been a national team. You know, we have something in my house. I mean, uh, uh, what is it? This decorative fire. You can put your hand in it. It's as cool as the air. There's nothing there. <laughs> it's showing like fire, but there's not, it doesn't burn anybody. <laughs> air fire is not like that. Oh. Amen. When God says return, you better return. Or you never be restored. Ezekiel demanded the pro, for the prolonging of his days, and God granted him. Isaiah 38 and verse 1 to 5. Your days will not be cut short. And he did that on the basis of his right standing with God. Amen. Right standing. Remember now, O oh Lord, I've walked with you before the end truth and with a perfect heart. And I've done that which is good in thy sight. Is this what you're going to reward me with? I said in the cutting short of my days, why should I be deprived of the rest of my years? My God. So that comes down to his agenda. Why must we come to pray for church growth, for instance? It's the only way to bat souls into the kingdom. No shortcut. Every praying church, I said yesterday, is a growing church, and every growing church must remain a praying church to keep growing. We saw that all across the Acts of the Apostles. Chapter 1, they were in one accord praying. Chapter 2, they were in the prayer when the Holy Ghost came. And then they continued satisfying the Apostles' doctrine and their prayers. And God added to the church as, as much as we be saved. And that continues. They went to the temple in the hour of prayer. They were in the, you know, in the Solomon's porch of the temple praying. And there was an eruption. Most of men and men, women were added to the church. It's, it's the order. There's a travail on the altar of prayer that brought children into the kingdom. Isaiah 66, verse 7 and 8. God has unveiled his agenda, for instance, of double dimension of growth in all our churches, all not before the end of the first half of the year. Uh, they have started again. He said, hey, I have an opportunity for you here for a change of story if you're interested. Hey, I have an opportunity for you here. <laughs> you can't be a partaker of the growth and miss out of the glory. <laughs> Every partaker of the advancement of his kingdom, he advances them. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 19 to 21. He said, out of them shall proceed, what? Thanksgiving. The voice of them shall be merry, and now we multiply them, they shall not be few. Also glorify them, change their status, they shall not be small. Their children shall be as a full time, it will impart on their children. And then verse 21, he said, in 21, that they are nobles. Nobles will emerge among them. 
captains of industries, leaders of nations, shall proceed from the midst of them. And I will cause him to draw near, for he shall approach unto me. For who is this that engage his heart with my agenda for the church? Who is it? So when you engage your heart in partaking of the growth agenda of the church, God's advancement agenda for his church, you engage with your heart in it, he turns a noble out of you. He makes a captain out of you. You can't be part of the growth and not be a partaker of the glory. Many people's stories have changed in this church by engaging their heart in advancing the kingdom of God. Join this chariot. It's real. 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 At 19, I was in a village. I was going to be there for 72 days. And I got in there, the first thing I would ask, what church is in this place? They say none. I said, not even Catholic. Not to derive Catholicism, but they were everywhere. So they, can, they are not here. They say no. We have only mosque here. I knelt down and I said, God, I mustn't leave this village where I, live. I met it. Are you a pastor? No. You have a calling? No. I just have a heart for God. And God showed me what to do. You can't have a heart for him without showing you what to do. <laughs> when it's in your heart, it will be in your hand. He will always show you what to do. So he showed me, go to every house the time they go for mosque. Book appointment with your puppies that you are coming to visit their family tomorrow to pray for them. I led them to Christ through prayer. Because there's no argument in prayer. You can't just excuse me. What are you asking me to say? No, you say it first. And I said, and then I pray over their farm, over their petty tray, over their going out and coming in. And I'll tell them this prayer continues in past in teacher's house tomorrow, or maybe on Sunday. Sunday, Sunday prayer is very important. So come. Brought them in one by one. Got a lamb from village head, built a grass church. I could still imagine myself climbing that palm tree and cutting the palms and poopies helping me to pick up the stuff. We did. I didn't speak their language, but showed me the way to go. I caught one of the folks in that place whose name was Abraham. He must be a Christian, or his father a Christian. So he was interpreting for me. Because you was in my heart, come it did happen. You better set your heart to advance God's kingdom. Can I tell you what I left off with? They told, they gave me a lantern. I can't forget the lantern, sir. I, I treasure it so much, I didn't put any light in it. Though. This, they said, we have heard that wherever church goes, civilization goes there. May the light you have brought to our village go around the whole world. I encounter destiny with simple heart for God. Simple heart. You, are, now you have the word. You are anointed. You are not moving. Nothing about God is moving you. So where are you going? I encounter destiny right there. I never knew it was. It has come to be. A moki kriantoria. Sir, passion for God is stronger than the anointing. Passion for God is what? Stronger than the anointing. Passion for God is stronger than the anointing. Passion for God. The woman who led me to Christ came in here before the Civil War. And then they announced that all Americans will return home. You know what she said? She's the evangelical. She doesn't know there's no Holy Spirit or anointing. He said, What would I tell God? That war came and I could not deliver his mandate. I won't go back. We are part of the fruits of our not going back. There is, she wasn't speaking in tongues. She wasn't anything. She went to heaven at 92. Passion for God. Passion for God. Passion for God. May your passion for God be ignited. Yes. What you say will not happen. Happen now. Well, you didn't partake of it. If you don't engage with the growth, you can't be partake of the glory. Engage with agenda. And then you have secured your place. 
It's a brand new day for you. We serve a city routing God. He can turn a city over in one day. City routing God. There was no city too strong for us. As we engage on the altar of prayer, the Lord delivered all of them into our hands. Deuteronomy chapter 2 verse 36. We pray to take delivery of a city for God. Amitu Sugiano, Shigi Adu, Pranktan Abalatos. Over to you. Lord, what would you have me to do? What would you have me to do in this prophetic agenda of wonder double growth? I don't want to watch like I did before. My heart is in it. Show me the way to go, Jesus. And the will. I have my target divine, defined. And my plan is to believe God to fulfill it within February and March. Yet I have trips to make. What is your target? Oh, okay, God, thank you. God, one double. Uh, end of June. Amen. Hallelujah. Goodness and mercy shall follow me. Who are you playing games with? Who is this that engages heart to seek unto me? Watch me decorate him. Watch me decorate her. You are the one to be decorated. You shall be decorated. You shall be decorated. You shall be decorated. And the next Sabbath day, almost the whole city came together to hear the word of God. Acts 13, 14, 44. We serve a city routing God. Philip went up to Samaria, Acts chapter 8. And there was joy in the city. The city was overrun. Because he went there to preach Christ. And who are we preaching here? Christ. Lord, take over this city. That's not an ambition. That's praying the world. Let the liberation mandate have a thorough fear in this land. In this nation, into next levels, in this village, in this town, then you are speaking. Thank you, Jesus. I wasn't a pastor, whether full time or part time. I wasn't. Do you have a plan to be a pastor? Never. If you ask God, He will tell you. I would have plan. But he had, to, he had for God we work for anybody. Full time, part time, many time. We work for anybody. We work for anybody. We work for anybody. We must therefore continue to engage the hand of God of increase towards the actualization of the minimum double cell growth and replication in our churches. On or before the end of the first half of the year. But it takes faith to secure the hand of God. Who had believed that report? Let me expect the hand of God. Now, Moses believed. And by a mighty hand, God brought Israel out. How do I know he believed? He departed. Faith is validated by our actions. Go down to Egypt, where they are looking for you to kill you. He went. But the hand of God was upon him. And he brought Israel out by the mighty hand and the outstretched arm of God. Deuteronomy 26 and verse 8. When faith comes alive, the hand of God goes forth. Exodus 4.30. I mean 4.20. Moses departed. How? He believed. When Abraham believed, he departed to align with the instruction. Faith that is void of corresponding action is fake, 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 fake. Show me your faith without your actions, and I'll show you my faith by my actions. The hand of God was upon Nehemiah to accomplish the rebuilding of the wall of Jerusalem within 52 days. You know what he said? Nehemiah chapter 2, verse 8. The king granted me what I desired because of the good hand of God upon my life. And he went down to Jerusalem and told them in verse 18 
this is what the good hand of the Lord has done for me towards this project. And in Nehemiah 6.15, they completed that impossible task in 52 days. There are many people here. One established will be a walkover. A walkover. A walkover. So we have 10 as a walkover. So we have 15 as a walkover. So we have 20 as a walkover. That is, you point to 15 people that Jesus used you to bring to him that are standing firm and fast in the Lord by the hand of God, provoked by your faith. How shall we want the works of God? The work of God is to believe on him. You believe him to get his task done. You can't do it by yourself. Your faith in his agenda will bring forth his hand that will get the job done. Can I hear your amen? Can I hear your amen? How do we secure the hand of God? Through faith. One, through obedience. Two, you walk in obedience, his hand goes with you. God was walking with them. Walking. Walk is a matter of the hand. The signs and wonders follow him because he obeyed him. Ask of me and I'll give you the hidden for the inheritance. The other must answer the part of the earth for your possession. Ask. Obey. Do the asking. You know, the man, Elijah, prayed and God's hand came upon him. And they are trying the horse and the chariot of Ahab to the gates of Israel. The hand of God was upon him. It makes all things happen. It makes them happen at a speed beyond your imagination. As we all know, no vision can see the light of day without faith. Faith is key. This is why only the pastor and the church that believes in wonder double agenda will see it come to pass. Only the pastors and the church that believes in the agenda of wonder double will see it come to pass. John 6, 28 and 29. And only the same minister and the same that believes in the wonder double cell growth and application, we deliver it. No guesswork. This is because without faith, it's impossible to secure the hand of God that will accomplish the plan and purpose of God. Without faith, it's impossible. It's impossible. It's impossible. How many believe that the wonder double God is still here? How many believe that he's still in our midst? How many believe he's still in our midst? Would you take advantage of that by engaging with his agenda and not watch people do it um, not be hearing other people's testimonies. They must hear your testimonies this year. Amen. Because it never fails. God's word will never fail. Lift up your right hand. Give God thanks as we close tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Give him thanks in words. 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 I thank you Jesus, for showing me the way forward. The way to go. Thank you for showing me the way forward and the way to go. In Jesus' precious name we are praying. Again, without assumptions, some fellows are here tonight in this service or across our zone of fellowship centers or online around the world. You want to say, Jesus, take over in my life. I want to return so I can be restored. I want to return back to you so I can be restored. Wherever you are tonight, you want to say, Jesus, save my soul. Or Jesus, I'm dedicating my life to you tonight. I want to come under the canopy of your favor, which pertains only to the righteous, not the crooked. Help me, Jesus. It doesn't pertain to people who are up and down, today with Jesus, tomorrow with native doctor. It works only with those who are looking up to him only, having him as their only expectation. Wherever you are tonight, you'd like me to pray that prayer with you to be born again, like many of us who are here today, most of us who are here today, and enjoy the free gift of God of eternal life. Please stand to your feet and I'll pray with you. God bless you. God bless you. Stand to your feet and I'll pray with you. Jesus, save my soul tonight. Jesus, I'm returning so I can be restored. Stand to your feet wherever you are. That applies to all of our Zona Fellowship Centers, wherever you are. Please stand to your feet. It's your turn for a change of story. Don't let this moment pass you by. Stand to your feet. And remain standing, please. Stand to your feet and remain standing. It's your turn for a change of story. 
stand to your feet and remain standing. Now, for all of us who are standing wherever we are, please, towards the altar area right now, whether you're in the youth chapel here or in any of our centers, please move to the, move to the altar area for prayers. Keep coming. Some other people are standing up to join us. Come quickly. It's your turn for a change of story. Come quickly. It's your turn for a new beginning. Come quickly. God wants to rewrite your story tonight if you let him, if you want him to. Please come. Please come. Please come. If you are joining us, it's not late. Please come and join us quickly. Come and join us quickly. Come and join us quickly. Jesus, save my soul. I want a new beginning. I want a new beginning in my life. Save my soul, Jesus. I want a new beginning in my life. Save my soul, Jesus. I want a new beginning in my life. Save my soul, Jesus. I desire a new beginning in my life. Amen. For all of us that are in front, please bow your heads for prayers. Lift up your right hand to heaven and pray this simple prayer of faith after me from the depth of your heart. Say after me, Lord Jesus, save my soul. Forgive me my sins. Wash me with your blood. I believe you died for me on the third day you rose again that I may be justified. Right now, I believe my sins are now forgiven. I'm justified by your blood. And I accept you today as my Lord and my Savior. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul. I open the door of my heart. Come into my heart, Jesus, and live your life in me. Grant me a brand new beginning according to your word. By your grace, I shall serve you all the days of my life. Amen. Keep your hands up. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. The grace that brought you in today will preserve you for life. No one shall look back among you. You'll make it through to the end. You'll never stop following Christ in the name of Jesus. May the blessings of redemption begin to manifest in your life. May everyone's taste today change from whatever does not please God to only what things please the Lord in the name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' name. I cover each of you with the blood. No assault of the wicked will locate you. You have escaped. You have escaped for life. In Jesus' name. Congratulations. Congratulations. Please walk with the officials. You collect your details. And they will be part of your joy. Shall we all rise, please? Can I have you say with me, if I will mind this agenda... It will take over my affairs. If only I will mind this agenda, it will take over my affairs. If I will mind the agenda of his kingdom on this earth, it will take over my affairs in life. So help me, Jesus, as I partake of your flesh and of your blood tonight, to mind your mission for me on earth. Mind you and your agenda as my new way of life so I can walk in fortune all the days of my life. Lift up your two hands and make your demand from the altar of, from the communion table tonight. Let the stewards come. Make your demand from the communion table tonight. I found a new way of living. I'd like you to sing that song as we partake of the communion when we are set. Now, Jesus, we receive this tonight as your flesh and your blood. Let every one of us partaking of this today experience your order of life. Amen. Let you and your kingdom remain our focus for life. And let that launch every one of us into this realm of enviable fortune. Amen. Keep us on your side for life. Amen. So we walk in fortune all through life. Amen. Like Abraham did. Thank you, Father. 
Now, whatever cannot be found in Christ is not permitted in your life. Amen. Therefore, sickness is caused. Amen. Oppression of the devil is caused. Amen. Nightmare is caused. Amen. Generational causes broken. Amen. Your liberty established. Amen. Tonight you shall be visited. 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 Amen. Today's day one of the fourth three day model. Preconia not samola, tronia loa. I pray that this fourth model of the three days will deliver maximally in everyone's life. In the name of Jesus. Everyone's spiritual life takes a new turn now. In Jesus' name. So let it be. Again, this is. Received as the flesh and as the blood of Jesus. It applies to everywhere around the world where this communion is being taken right now. It applies to all our various zona centers and individuals who are on their private devices in the name of Jesus. It is done. Please get seated. Take your turn as may be directed. I found a new way of living. I found a new life divine. I've got the fruit of the spirit. I'm abiding, abiding in the vine. I found a new way. I found a new way of living. I found a new life divine. I've got the fruit of the spirit.
Jesus. Oh yeah, prosperity. I need to reabide it. I am abiding here to find. Root out of the vine, root out of the vine. Hallelujah. Oh yes, I found prosperity. I want to be to reabide it. clap offering of triumph. Give the Lord the biggest clap offering of triumph. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. How many have been blessed tonight? Lift up your two hands and give him thanks for it. Give Jesus thanks for it. Give Jesus thanks for it. Give Jesus thanks for it. In Jesus' name. Now, very, very important announcement, please. The special healing Miracle service holds at the youth chapel next Sunday. Holds here. Holds here. And is put in place to minister to the sick. So it's not that we are, uh, uh, you know, service unit leaders and you fill up all the spaces. No. Place we are ministering to the need, the healing needs of the people. And choir will be told how much space you have. So you can now have your plan and schedule for each Sunday for those who stay for that service. Otherwise, you can fill the whole place. And then you are now having a choir meeting instead of a healing service. Praise God. And this is not a sickly church. So we are ministering to the healing needs of the people. And there are many reasons for which we are going to hold it here. One, to get able to know this is not a regular service. Number two, to give the sanctuary keepers the room to start doing their work so they can also go home on time. And now we have overflow outside. But those who are in desperate needs will be created room for in front so they can be touched and be healed by Jesus. Can I hear your amen? And very importantly, every sick fellow on their sick bed, ensure to connect them by live transmission to this service. Those who cannot be brought here, let them be partakers of it. This is healing for the nations. You saw what God did during COVID-19? He was healing them from nation to nation across the world. Just two days ago, we had somebody from Togo. Today, we have somebody from the Benin Republic. It's all over the world. So please, Make sure we allow that to be and not fill up the whole place because we are pastors. You know, if you are not on duty, you are not here. Praise God. So we can create room for the people we are ministering to. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Now, if you are a pastor, you need healing need. No, there is no problem about that. If you are in the choir, you have any healing need. There is no problem about that. But we are ministering to the healing needs of the people. That's the instruction. And we are not doing teaching of the month. No. It's done... First, second, third service. That's where teacher of the month is. This is healing miracle service. It's laying on of hands and ministering diverse instruments of healing that God has put in our hands. Can I hear your amen? amen. Can I hear your amen? amen? If you bring pictures of people, you stay outside. The prayer will reach them. Can I hear your amen? amen. Not that I have picture in my hand, I know, but you stay outside. Those who have their bodies with them, they come inside. Can I hear your amen? amen? But wherever you are in the world, it will reach you. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody excited? Yes. Lift up your two hands and give God thanks. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Tomorrow will be greater. Yes. For you, tomorrow will be greater. Yes. To you, for you, your spiritual life will change level. Yes. You will know it inside you. Yes. The world around you will see it. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Go in peace. Amen. Enjoy his presence. Amen. And be visited tonight. Amen. Be visited tonight. Amen. New chapter up to your spiritual life tonight. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Give him thanks one more time.
Lift your hands, give thanks to God tonight, and let's appreciate him. You are worthy of praise, worthy of glory, worthy of honor. Adoration belongs to you, we celebrate you. Thank you and thank you and thank you, Lord. You are worthy of all the praise and all the glory. Blessed be your holy name, for in Jesus' precious name we have given thanks. Somebody believe, say loud, amen. amen. Let's share the goodness of the Lord together. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Peace. Praise God. Fortune is my portion in 2024. Congratulations. Amen and amen. Congratulate somebody as you go. Be blessed.